Hello, my friend, how are you doing? Um, just want to show you really quickly how you can import data from Excel to SPSS. Maybe it's going to make your life a little bit easier. So what I have here is a very simple setting where I have one factor here on top, which is the number of guitars, so how many guitars people have at home, and the number of guitars here. Now, very important, before you import, you have to have the name of the variable here on top and then the data set, okay? So if you don't have the heading, then SPSS is not really going to recognize the name of the factors and what the factors are. So it's really important that you have that. The second thing to keep in mind is make sure to close the Excel file. So if the Excel file is open, it's not really going to work. So I'm gonna close the Excel file here. Now I've got my SPSS and I'm gonna go under File and Import Data and Excel, which is the first option. So I'm gonna click on Excel. I'm gonna to try to find the file. So I've got here my file of number of guitars and I'm gonna simply click on Open. When I click on open, this other window here is going to pop up. Make sure that this first one here is clicked, which is read variable names from first row of data. So remember on Excel to have the names of the variables on the first row, as I mentioned to you. The percentage of value that determines data type, you can leave that as, um, as default. Ignore hidden rows or columns, that's always good. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. And then you click on OK and then the magic happens. And now you've got your variable here, which is um, already set up on, on SPSS. So you, I always recommend clicking here in the bottom on variable view, so you can make sure that the, the variable looks okay. For example, if the variable, you can check the measure if it is scale or nominal. In this case, it is a nominal um, uh, uh, data, so that's always good. The other thing to be aware of, um, here under the name of the variable, on the variable view, SPSS never allows spaces between the words. So at least what I always do is I put a um, uh, underline here so you can um, so you can see better what the, uh, the variable is afterwards when you're analyzing, okay? So in a nutshell, this is how you do it. One thing that I would draw your attention to though is um, very often when you do this process, when you have a massive a data set, many things can go wrong. Personally, I like to do it uh, manually. There is one video on the YouTube uh, playlist uh, of Live Innovation on how to import a survey questionnaire um, into SPSS. So I show you how you can do it manually depending on the types of questions. So you might wanna have a look at that, but if you would just wanna do a quick uh, import, this is a way to do it, okay? Oh, and the one final thing, don't forget on the comment of this video, there is a link for a e-guide for SPSS that you can download for free. Maybe that's helpful for you, all right? Have a beautiful day. I wish you all the best. Take care and bye-bye.